PCL and for PPL tendon reconstruction. Our patient is a 15-year-old boy who presented to us 6 months after a motor vehicle accident. Examination shows an intact various stress test while having a positive dial test at 30 and 90 degrees. Posterior drawer test and quadriceps active test was also positive. Based on our clinical examination, we have concluded that the patient has a PCL and popliteus tendon injury and have decided for arthroscopic reconstruction. X-ray shows posterior lateral translation of the tibia. And the MRI shows injury to the popliteus and PCL. Here we demonstrate again the posterior drawer instability and excessive external rotation. We begin by marking the anterior medial and the anterior lateral portal. The torn popliteus tendon can be seen here at the posterior lateral corner of the knee. A portal is created on the lateral gutter in order to approach the femoral attachment site of the popliteus tendon. The tunnel is aimed upwards to avoid drilling into the notch. Now we will gain entry into the posterior compartment using the transeptal technique. A shaver is used to approach the 12 o'clock position in between the cruciate ligaments. Two windows are created in the 7 to 8 o'clock position and the 4 to 5 o'clock position. Using trans illumination technique to avoid the saphenous vein and nerve, the posterior medial portal is created. A switching rod is passed from the posterior medial portal to the soft spot between the LCL and the biceps femoris, creating the posterior lateral portal. We now switch our camera to the posterior lateral portal. Clearing is done from superior to anterior and inferior, avoiding the posterior where neurovascular bundle is. The tibial tunnel will be made at the muscular tendinous junction of the popliteus. The tibial tunnel is then created using retrograde drilling. We will now leave a shuttle suture in place for later. The femoral tunnel is drilled to 40mm and shutter sutures are placed. The popliteus graft is shuttled through the femur and the tibia. To create the PCL tunnels, we first move back to the anterior portals. The PCL remnant is identified and the tunnel is marked at the center close to the cartilage. We go back to the posterior lateral portal to visualize the location of the tibial tunnel just above the popliteus muscle belly. The tibial tunnel for the PCL is created in a retrograde manner.
adding 5 millimeters for tensioning. The femoral tunnel is drilled to 15 millimeters. The PCL graft is passed through the tibia slowly by rolling with a clamp to avoid overpulling. Similarly with the femoral portion of the graft as it is in the metaphyseal area. A bioexorbable screw is placed in the posterior superior portion of the tunnel in order to push the graft anteriorly. The tibial portion of the grafts are tightened with button. Here is the final look of our fixation. Here is the patient on follow-up after 1 year and 10 months. Posterior drawer test is stable here and the external rotation is comparable to his normal side. Thank you for watching.